History records one name of a Japanese soldier who is extremely cruel. He heartlessly subjected prisoners of war to inhumane conditions, leading them to starvation and death. His name is Sane Kanichi. Who is he, and what are the dark traces of his cruelty? When Japan occupied Indonesia and defeated the Netherlands, there were still some Dutch people left behind. They were called internees or prisoners of war and lived in concentration camps scattered in Batavia. We will focus on discussing a concentration camp located in Sidang. In this camp, civilian women and children of various European nationalities were held as prisoners. At first, their lives were relatively normal in the camp, but everything changed dramatically when Sunei Kanichi arrived. Kanichi became the camp commander from April 1944 to June 1945. Since then, Camp Tjideng turned into a closed hell. A house that should ideally accommodate 10 people was forcibly packed with hundreds to tens of thousands of individuals. Even toilets were turned into beds as there was no space left in the camp. The living conditions in the house were extremely pitiful. The available water was dirty and unfit for use. Mornings became nightmares for the prisoners. Sunei Kanichi forced them to burn under the sun for hours until noon. They were also forced to plant castor oil plants. If someone was found guilty, they would be whipped, shaved, and forced to work under the sun naked for a very long time. To make matters worse, the ration of food for the prisoners was drastically reduced. Mothers were even willing to catch animals like frogs and snails, then boil them to feed their children. Every day, there were prisoners who died due to deteriorating physical and mental health. While the prisoners were starving, Sunei Kanichi would feed his dog with meat and eggs. Sunei Kanichi's cruelty was extreme, showing no mercy even towards children and women. During full moon nights, his cruelty escalated, which is why he was often nicknamed, Moonstruck. After suffering for three years, the prisoners could finally breathe a sigh of relief as the hell of Sidang was closed in August 1945. Indonesia gained independence, and then the Allies came and took action against Commander Sunei. At the end of World War II, Sunei was captured. By the military court, Sunei was sentenced to death and would be executed on September 2, 1946. Though he attempted to seek clemency, Sunei's plea was flatly rejected by the Dutch East Indies Governor General, Hubertus van Mook. Brutal and sadistic, that's the dark legacy of Sunei Kanichi during the Japanese occupation in Indonesia. To this day, his name remains one of the most controversial figures in history. If there are other figures you'd like us to discuss, write them in the comments section. See you again!